Here's why you should want to present at one or more of LEARN's events, either in person or online. And here's why the best practitioners come back and present again and again at LEARN events. You already know that if someone wants to really learn something well, they should teach that topic with your program. But what if you already know that topic really well? Why should you share that knowledge? Why should you present at LEARN? The simple answer is that you and your program get more benefit from you presenting with LEARN than the audience does. But the real world life evidence behind this surprising benefit is so compelling, it's worth hearing the story. The story was researched and written in the New Yorker magazine by Atul Gawande, now a fairly famous doctor because of his writing about medicine. Here's the true story. In 1957, the average child with cystic fibrosis, a genetic disease present at birth, lived about three years. At that time, the Cystic Fibrosis Foundation, the Association of Doctors and Hospitals Treating the Disease, had one crazy doctor from Cleveland who insisted his patients lived much longer seven times longer than the average. His name was Leroy Matthews. To shut this doctor up, the association contracted with another doctor in Minneapolis to go around to all the hospitals and collect the data on life expectancy. And to their amazement, the crazy doctor from Cleveland was right. His patients did indeed live seven times longer. So the association did what you would think. They asked the Cleveland doctor to share with the other doctors and hospitals everything he knew, and the doctor agreed. Now, two things happened after the Cleveland doctor shared everything he knew. One of those two things what was what everyone was hoping for. Having shared everything he knew, the other hospitals and doctors implemented those techniques. And less than 10 years later, in 1966, the average life expectancy increased from three years to 10 years. But there was a second outcome one that no one predicted or expected. And the second outcome was that the patients at the Cleveland Doctors Hospital increased their lifespan even more. Sharing everything, the Cleveland doctor had the greatest outcome of all. His expertise in outcomes increased even more than the doctors he taught. Instead of the gap in outcomes shrinking, the gap actually grew. 40 years later, in 2000, the gap was still there. The average cystic fibrosis child now lived an average of 30 years. But at the Cleveland Hospital, patients lived much longer. The lesson of this story is that when you share everything you know, you and your organization benefit the most. You get even better than the ones in your audience. After Atul Gawande's article came out, I emailed Dr. Gawande and asked if this would be relevant for lifelong learning programming and continuing education. He replied, you have the diagnosis correct. That's medical speak for Yes. So why do we ask the best pr practitioners to present again and again at LEARN? Because they always have something new. And why should you present at LEARN 
because the skills and expertise you gain from presenting at Learn will result in your program gaining even more than our audience. The success gap will grow even wider between your organization's success and that of other programs. Come present at Learn. This is Bill Draves.